So, um, I've been popping back and forth between uh, different projects and uh, sometimes it's not such a bad thing. If you get really, really frustrated with one, you can just put it off to the side and come back to it later. Um, so, <laughs> I've been working on my ham radio. So, I thought I'd come back to these and show you what's going on with them. Um, I haven't touched them since, uh, since last, but we can, uh, we can go through this and see if uh, maybe uh, since I've relaxed, I can figure out uh, maybe maybe something to do. Um, I have gone through and tried to touch up all of the solder connections, which of course is your first idea. Um, I have a suspicion that the sockets that I was using uh, have some oxidation, so it's there's a there's a chance that that's that's the problem, but. Um, Let's see, which one should we do first? Let's, uh, uh, let's, let's, let's do this one first. Let's, uh, uh, let's see what it looks like on the uh, oscilloscope and try to figure out what's going on with this. Uh, sorry if there's a noise in the background. It's hot today and I have my air conditioner on in the garage, which is a little bit noisy. But, I'd rather have that than uh, not, so... Uh, let's see here, I put 5 volts on the board and probed around on the uh, connector over here. Uh, you can see that we're... Uh, that we're actually getting something on the screen. Um, like a single shot. So, it, there, there's something obviously good happening. Uh, looks like it's random data. Looks like it's trying to do something somewhere. So let's um, let's probe around a bit on the, on the board. Let's take a look at the schematic. Uh, I think the first thing to do is always take a look at the clocks. Make sure your clocks are good. Uh, obviously the voltage is good, otherwise it wouldn't be running. Uh, so let's check our clocks. We have a um, 6 megahertz clock here and we have a uh, uh, 1.8432 over here. So if we didn't have that clock running, then that would explain why we didn't have any uh, UART data. And we can try the reset circuit out also. So let's look at some clocks. Let's see, we have uh, clocks here, but they come out. Uh, B clock. B clock goes over to the, um, the UART. Is this the dart? Uh, and the clock comes in pin 20. So it is a 40 pin device, so pin 20 is easy to find. So let's do that. Uh, turn my oscilloscope back on. Let's get a ground here. That should be ground. Uh, pin 20. Oh, that's interesting. That's kind of right. Hmm. Uh, well, that would explain things, wouldn't it? I am counting, right? 20. 20 should be the last one here. And 31 is ground. Oh, the power is really weird on this part. Oh, that's my, um, that's my CPU. I'm sorry. The uh, E-Word's over here. Pin 20. Ah, that looks better. Okay, so pin 20, let's take a look what we got. That looks like a clock. And push the frequency button. It says we have 6 megahertz. Okay. Uh, 6 megahertz. Oh, did I put the clocks in? <laughs> oh, that'd be funny. No, I think I have them in the right way. Uh, e clock. Oh, there is, uh, that is the, uh, they do send a master clock to the UR. They also send the uh, baud rate generation clock. The baud rate, baud rate generation clock. Um, let's see. Something. I have anything to point with. Um, so we have uh, the 6 megahertz clock running into pin 20, but the baud rate generation clock 
comes in somewhere else. B clock, B clock, B clock. Uh, here, pin 27. So 27 is, uh, let's see here, I need a longer ground, so I'm just going to use a clip lead here. Clip on the ground, put that onto there, and I can a little easier. Do it. There we go. All right. So, uh, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Yes. Uh, 27. We have clock. And this clock is 1.8 megahertz. So, clocks are good. Hmm. Okay. Let's take a look at our transmission line then, that we're not getting. Um, we want the TTL version of or the uh, data out. So our data out goes to the MAX uh, 232 chips. And we can take a look at pins 10. 10 should be going that way. And so, uh, uh, 8, 9, 10. 10 should be data out. And when we hit reset, we hit reset, click, 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 click. I get no. No data out at all. Um, try the other port just in case. No. This is what it was doing. So that's the symptom. Uh, it just doesn't output any data. It should give the sign on message. Um, so let me think of what to do next. All right. Well, this is a retro uh, retro computer, so let's use retro tools. Um, if you've ever seen one of these, uh, it is a logic probe, um, and uh, this is a Hewlett Packard one, um, very fancy. Uh, it has a switch that's TTL voltage levels or CMOS voltage levels, so I guess we'll put it on CMOS and. Um, it has a uh, very, very sharp probe at the end and a, and a light. And on the other end, we have some alligator clips. I've modified this a bit. The alligator clips that came with this weren't always reliable, so I always swapped them out and put something else on. So let's uh, put this on VCC and ground. And we get a, uh, a light, incandescent of course, <laughs> uh, this is a 545A logic probe, uh, and uh, so if you put it on uh, a line that is uh, toggling, you'll get the you get a, a flashy light. So that's our uh, six megahertz, uh, and. Uh, Let's see, 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so here's the other clock, it's flashy. Uh, but you can just kind of look at pins, so like uh, here's the microprocessor, uh, pin 40 is, is low. You might think that's VCC, but it isn't on a Z80. On a Z80, uh, looking at the data sheet over here, or the schematic, 40 is a 10. So that's just low. Uh, 39 is pulsing. 39 is A9, so A9 is going. So that could be a that could be a clue if you're expecting A10 to actually be toggling, and it's low. You can say, oh, maybe this just hurt the ground. So uh, even though it's really really old school, it's it's interesting. So let's go ahead and probe. See what's easy to probe. Let's probe the. Um, 
Oh my goodness, there's no pin numbers on this thing. <laughs> oh dear. Dear, 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 dear. This schematic has no pin numbers. Uh, you can see the uh, RAM chip. There's no, there's no pin out. That doesn't do much good, is it? So I guess we won't be using that. Let's 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 look at the uh, at the connector here. That's the uh, pin out of the whole device, and see what's going on. Let's make sure everything looks like it's uh, it's doing the right thing. So uh, let's see. This is. Let's see, where's pin 1? It's not marked. Oh dear, it's not marked. Not good. Uh, let's see, this pin 1, that one's toggling, this one's ground. So let's take a look at pins 1 and 2. Uh, well, that's not doing us any good at all, is it? Huh. Well, this says that, that that's pin, uh, pin 1, pin 2. Let's see if we can find something we know. Oh, goodness. Pin 30 is reset. So let's do pin 30. Um, and I don't know how this is numbered to see here. So pin 30 says 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Two, four, six, eight, thirty. So thirty is high. And when I push the button, that goes low. So that's our that's our reset. Okay, so we know that this is actually pin one is here. Alright, so pin one is flashing. Pin one is A eleven. A ten is not. A twelve is not. A nine is flashing. Five is not, which is a thirteen. A eight is not flashing, so only a nine and a ten. Oh, a, a nine is eleven, and oh, this is not really helping, is it? I really need to know what the program is trying to do. Let's look at the data bus. Not really laid out in any nice way. Let's see, one, three, five, seven, five, eleven is clock, thirteen is D four, that's flashing, D three, D five, D six. This DC is high. D2. D7. D0. D1. So all eight data lines are toggling. Uh, then we have an interrupt line, which is high. We have a non maskable interrupt, which is high. And a halt, which is high. The memory request is flashing and the IR request. Oh, the IR request is flashing. That's interesting. So the something's generating an IR request. Uh, read and write are both flashing. Plus acknowledge is high. Wait is high. Plus request, reset we checked, and one, refresh, and now well, maybe this isn't telling us much. Let's take a look at the Max 232. Uh, we should have a transmit, which is pin 10. Hit reset. We never get any any data. Let's see, eleven is oh, eleven is floating. Hmm. Two four. Six, two, 
Minus high ten is ten is kind of floating. That doesn't sound right. Hmm. Let me put this in TTL mode. No, that doesn't seem right over here to the uh, dart. And so we transmit A is 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Two. That's floating. Whoa. That's not right. UCC is nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's high. Round is thirty-one. Twenty one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then three one is bad. Let's get into power now. Let's see if it's getting a reset. 21. Yep. And a reset. And clock. I don't know why the transmit lines would be floating. Hmm. Let's see, let's look at all of them. Twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve is, twelve is high. That's a receive line. Thirteen is a clock, that's clocking. Fifteen, fourteen. Fourteen is a clock, that's flashing. Fifteen is transmit. And fifteen is floating. Wow. Uh, let me let me think about this for a while. This 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 doesn't seem right. Maybe this uh, this chip is dead, um, or there's not con contact on this on the socket or something. Okay. Well, I was thinking about this and uh, taking a look at the part number, and I'm thinking, oh, maybe I'm having a problem because of the clock speeds. So. This is using a 6 megahertz uh, clock. This Z80 chip is an 0006 part, which is a 6 megahertz part. This is an 004 part, so this, this UART, this DART, is actually a 4 megahertz part. And I'm trying to drive it at 6 megahertz clock, so that might be the problem. Um, I'm not sure how fast this uh, 82C55 part is also. It's, I don't think it's needed in the circuit. I can think I can just pull that out. Um, uh, but I'll check on its speed as well. Um, so the thing to do is to get a new one of these or uh, get a 4 megahertz crystal and see if the thing will operate at uh, 4 megahertz. Uh, I might try both of those.